Welcome to forexcstrading.com and now we're going to discuss another example of uh, publication of important information. So we're going to discuss data publication. Uh, right now you're looking looking at 4 hour euro dollar chart and this is what we're going to discuss. Well, let's take a close look up at this situation. Well, here you got the small trend on this or even a medium trend is a uptrend as you see so far. So we were looking uh, to enter the market in a long position and you see uh, here we got a situation when the uh, continuation pattern showed us the uh, price action will be moving to the upside. This is this moment right here. And this was very important, this point 28.99, so we were talking about 29.00. This, this moment was very important because from this moment we could have another um, uptrend continuation or we could have double top situation like it has um, uh, finished right now this move. It, it has been a double top and and we could turn around with, with the downtrend but uh, before this right here um, we were waiting for some important information and uh, to see the daylight. Well, we're gonna go now to a uh, 30 minute chart and this is the close look up to the situation we were shown on 4 hour chart. This is the uh, previous important top and here in the morning we were in this um, uh, in this point where we had this continuation pattern. You see it as a, um, a blue rectangle so you see it as a brutal rectangle and um, uh, we were supposed to look the uh, upside movement to enter the market in long position. Well, this was before important data occurred. Well, let's take a look what we are talking about. This is what you are shown here at forexfactory.com. This is a calendar, an economic calendar. You're looking at the uh, time, which is actually the uh, European time zone. So the data I'm talking about is is this uh, German zoo economic sentiment, which was at 11 um, uh, in the morning, 11 a.m. Uh, with European time, and this is about 5 a.m. when you're talking about New York time, U.S. And you see this forecast was supposed to be a little. Uh, the uh, downside comparing to uh, the last yeah previous um, sentiment and actually you see it was much lower than expected so um, above zero point this economic sentiment is uh, showing us uh, we have a positive um, feedback from investors and publicity and below zero we got this negative view of the market I mean general view of the people ask so let's come back to the chart and see what happened before the time you see 11 11 o'clock occurred somewhere around here the price action went here but before that after nine o'clock European opening I'm talking about European time so we are talking about 3 a.m. Uh, during the night in the US. We had the situation, this is this time right here, uh, this green candle. The market exploded to the upside and it was really showing us that we are supposed to go to the market with long position because it will be breaking out from, from this pattern, this rectangle pattern, and it will be breaking up another um, uh, breakout point. So uh, we are talking about this support and resistance and um, uh, what we see from the price action it stopped here at this important support resistance it didn't follow through and we had this a little down coming into here but it was really not significant and at 11 a.m. European time it was uh, um, uh, this uh, data publication as you see here which is significant different from expected which is very important in current time and it also will have influence 
will the future time so we are talking about the uh, current situation and we are talking about the, uh, the next future uh, situation um, because of the sentiment it is showing us what is the situa situation with economic stuff so um, you see at 11 o'clock the uh, price increased its volatility so volatility showed us um, uh, we were going down so I've sold the position here with 28.65 you see this this green line with demonstration account it is just to show you what kind of positions I'm moving right now so we were expecting a bigger move whenever it will happen next five minutes or next 10 hours we were expect bigger move um, to the uh, downside because this economic information well the move occurred and it started to moving more rapidly um, and it is more possible right now that it will come through even though though the next the less sorry trend medium trend is uh, really growing fast I think we will have some kind of another corrective wave because of this uh, economic um, data uh, occurred so um, not only we change our view just within an hour of trading look at this situation changed we hit this spot after um, let's say going long with after this uh, pattern occurred going long here we stopped in this the same almost point where uh, we seen less top and the market turned down a little bit then we have this data published and the market really accelerated to the downside so I've changed my view I've took some contracts uh, to the downside just to show you in demonstration account that we must sometimes change our opinion and I think uh, we will go with this move uh, we will follow through probably all the way here to 27.94 uh, I will be watching um, uh, directly how the uh, price action moves what it's really showing us and we will see if this kind of move uh, will be really uh, follow through or, to, or will be stopped at some point you see at four hour chart we have 27 uh, 79 point which is important it is this point 27 80 here so we are talking most likely about this point anyway we have the medium term price action going um, uh, aggressively up so I'm not sure about those sellers yet you see it's not about the uh, technical analysis about sellers coming in this was about data publication so please do not be confused that I've entered the market because of this uh, short move here this right here no I really um, entered the market because we seen really bad economic data uh, showed uh, by the uh, calendar and we have the price action really followed for a few seconds few minutes after this um, uh, with the uh, price market movement so we got two things combined which give us a really logic and um, interpretation of market going down whenever it's 40 60 or 100 pips I'm gonna take some of the profit probably soon especially when the market will go down and will start to move aggressively up I'm gonna take the half of the profit and close the position at, at break-even point probably if it turn around well if it's gonna follow through we're gonna take some of the profit somewhere here and um, uh, we're gonna wait for uh, some uh, some more follow through to the uh, downside from from this point 2780 well we just see if the uh, market sellers will join the action or uh, this is just a tempor temporary move well it is worth to try sometimes when you know in this moment you won't lose anything and the uh, situation might be um, uh, continuing in very near future thank you very much for watching this I hope it will be useful and helpful uh, with the markets in the future this is the example of significant change of the uh, data publicated so and uh, these kind of differences we are looking 
uh, at the market to, to show us something very different than expected. Uh, and you see another uh, another uh, data was uh, different as well as you see here. Not so strongly, but it was different. So it is all giving us some kind of picture for the uh, daily or next few hours uh, price action. Um, and that's what's keeping me with the market short right now in this very short time. I mean, during this next few hours, maybe next day, couple of days, we'll see if the sellers will join the market. Well, thank you very much for listening again. I hope you're going to use it sometime on the live market. Thank you very much.